the problem is IS Express with Visual Studio 2015 potentially has a different application host dot config file for each uh, project and solution where before there was a global configuration so I'll show you what happens so I've got my app uh, running here in uh, debug mode already in IS Express if I open it up and I have prefix open over here um, I'll load this on the left you'll actually see it's working prefix is working however it only partially works uh, and that's because our web module is not working and our module collects um, certain data and allows some other things to work um, kind of under the hood and so that's why it's important now one way you can tell is if I go into request started here I don't see any of the header data that you usually see that doesn't show and then if I go over here and I load a request that actually is async the async request you'll notice is not showing up and that's because async work you know works across multiple threads and what have you and we need the module to do uh, some of the work that it's doing to know how to tie those uh, async requests back together so again some synchronous requests will work uh, some things will work but they won't work 100 percent and potentially async stuff may not work at all or may partially work so to fix this there's a couple different things we can do uh, from our docs this is our, our, our doc about this we, we list three different ways to fix this you can tell the project file to just use the global host config which is your application host config file that's for IS Express um, you just change your project file and then that fixes it the other option is to go find your application host config file for that project uh, which will be under you know dot VS config application host config um, something like that and I'll kind of show you I think um, so you can do that or if I go in here to my uh, config you'll see global use global application host file you see that there so that defaults to false and if I change this to true um, that would fix my problem and that's all you have to do and that it's one of those things that doesn't really cause any kind of problems on other people's computer if you check this in um, however if you don't want to do this you could also change that application host config that's under the dot vs um, path and uh, put our module in that application host config and that would fix it as well so if I change that there and I go back in Visual Studio now um, it's gonna it's gonna freak out on me because I changed it stop the debugging and so now if I come back over here and I start my application back up again hopefully this will work so now IS Express is going to use the shared config the global config and when prefix is first installed we automatically um, go ahead and modify the global config to put our module into it so it'll already be there and this would just work because now it's redirecting to the global configuration file this is loading here oh there's a there's those page loads again okay so now we're running so let's see if we get our our headers again I can click on that and now I have my headers so now because the module is working it's collecting that additional data so now let's go hit our async page request and there it is so all this does is a couple async uh, Redis calls but so now those are working as well um, so there you go that's how you get prefix fully working with IS Express um, in our doc site there's a page about this and you got three different options there you can set the global config um, or you can go modify the application host config which is specific to your solution or project um, it'll be in this hidden dot VS folder um, or your third option is to go ahead and just modify the web config file for your application and you just add our add our module here um, so you got three different ways you can do it thanks guys